Now, women are masters at concealing not only their intent, but also their intentions with the men who they are dating. What you're going to see in today's video is not only where 99% of men go wrong, but you're also going to see exactly how women subconsciously and covertly test men in order to categorize them so they know how to act accordingly. What I am telling you guys is yes, 100% women will act differently from guy to guy depending on who they're with, which means everything, and I mean everything, is only a frame and an illusion of what she wants you to see. Stay with me until the end of this presentation because it is going to totally transform your life. Now, after today's video presentation, as always, be sure to go down below. You check out the MBT Masculine Behavioral Technique webinar that I put together for you. It's a free end-to-end -end presentation to show you the three secrets of MBT to copy-paste that exact process into your dating life so that way you can truly become the masculine man that I know you want to be and have amazing success in your dating life. Let's dive in. Now, this is hands down one of the most important videos that I've ever made because what you have to understand at the deepest level is women are masters at concealing their intent and intentions towards you. What does conceal mean? That means she's hiding that shit. That means she does not want you to know why she's on a date with you, why she's in front of you, why she's consistently seeing you, or potentially why she's sleeping with you. You're going to see step by step exactly why this is a very important video for you to master. So the prerequisite going into this that you have to understand is women covertly test 24 seven. Now I did not say overtly and I didn't just say they test. I'm telling you that they covertly test. What that means is there's going to be facial expressions, mannerisms, side conversations, little gestures that they are going to do to see how you react. What I'm telling you is that if you are going on a date with a woman, if you're seeing a woman consistently, if you're getting married, I don't care how long you've known the girl, every move you make, Every move that you make as a man, you are being judged, either consciously or subconsciously. It's like a Rolodex of notes, and she's taking notes every single time that you misstep or miscalculation. What she's doing is she's consistently trying to gauge your SMV, your sexual market value. Consistently, when a woman is by you, she's seeing how you stack up compared to the other men that she could potentially have, potentially see, or potentially leave you for to explore her options. You have to know this and understand this because there's no way of getting around this. Like your grandma is like this, your mom is like this, your sister is like this, your ex-girlfriend's like this, the nun who's in church is like this. Every single woman is like this. They are always testing for insecurities and they are testing for weakness. Reason being is because whenever insecurities is shown, whether that be on the first date or the first month, doesn't matter, or weakness is shown in a long-term relationship, your SMV is now revealed. This is why from the past 10 videos, I've been teaching you guys to conceal your SMV, to conceal your interest level. So as women are covertly testing 24 seven, what does that mean? What does that mean for you? That means women are always looking for reasons to leave you, okay? You're gonna see what this has to, what, what this, like how this even correlates when it comes to why they conceal their intent in just a little bit, but this is the prerequisite. Women are always looking for reasons to leave you, like completely exit the relationship, start a temper tantrum, start some sort of argument to give herself reason and to convince your male logistical brain why she's exited. This is very, very important for you to understand at the deepest level because all women's brains are looking for reasons to see you as not a good fit, okay? Even if they like you a lot, Read that one more time. Even if they like you a lot, they could like your personality, they could even maybe see a future with you, but if a couple small things happen, they are looking for reasons to not see you as a fit and not stick it out with you and not make it work. The reason being that every single guy is going to have to understand is that natural selection is real and women are looking for survival of the fittest. So here's the reason why they conceal their intent. The reason why they conceal their intent is because they are trying to get you to miscategorize yourself. We will talk about miscategorizations in just a second, but she knows that you'll trust appearances and perception. See, what women do is they use their appearances, they use their beauty to shift your perception and they're banking on the fact that you are naive. See, most women know on a deep down level that men are naive 
to the subconscious and the psychological, not only manipulation, but frames that they will put in front of him to get him to change his behavior. The second that you change your behavior is the second that you expose yourself to more tests and the second that she can now categorize you in a different category to give herself reasons not to sleep with you or not to be with you. You'll see this in a second. Before we cover this column, we're gonna have to move to this column over here because these go in, rever in reverse for today, okay? Here's where 99% of men go wrong. 99% of men go wrong because they misread the woman's categorization of them. When I'm talking about categorizations and perceptions, she is consistently screening for she wants to classify you as an alpha and who has alpha traits, okay, the arrogant, cocky, assertive asshole who, who she will sleep with, or what she's doing is she is consistently trying to categorize you as someone as a long-term fit, okay? The way you handle both of these is going to dictate the type of behavior that you get out of her. This is why one guy can have a totally different experience with one girl and a different guy can have, can have that same girl and have a totally different experience with her. One guy can go, man, she was crazy in bed. I slept with her after 30 minutes. Another guy goes, what do you mean, dude? I had to take her out on six dates and she was like hardly even interested. I thought she was super prude. You gotta stick with me on this. You're gonna need to know this. Where 99% of men go wrong is they misread the woman's categorization of them. So what I'm trying to explain to you is they, like these men, the biggest mistake that these guys make, that every guy will make from time to time, is you don't play your position. When men don't play their position or they don't know the role or the position that the woman has stuck them into, this is called incongruence. So a woman could meet you at a bar, a club, a house party. She thinks that you're some cool dude. Okay, she thinks that you're some maybe even potential alpha that she would like to sleep with and she wants to have like quick, fast, hot and heavy sex with. Like you're the type of guy who turns her on and gets her aroused. All of a sudden he doesn't demonstrate the right masculinity characteristics that start to bring that out of her. Now there's incongruence. Before she viewed you as a 10, okay, just from you saying a couple wrong things, all of a sudden she views you as a 4.5 and now she has a reason not to sleep with you. The same thing goes vice versa. When men don't play their position, they move things too quickly. When you move things too quickly, you start to dissolve the woman's appearance of you that she had that this was actually a fun guy I want to be with. Here's what I mean, okay? What men do, like especially men who are naive to the game, is men assume that women want relationships and commitment from the get-go, okay? Men will oftentimes think women want relationships, women are soft, women are uh, needing this loyal, uh, nice, dutiful guy, okay? So men assume going into this that women want relationships and that women want commitment, okay? This is not always true. A lot of women just want sex. A lot of women want you to play your position as a guy that she can call one day a week or a guy that she can call every other week. Maybe she even wants you to play your position where she wants to go out on other dates with other guys. She wants to use those guys for free dates, free attention, hand holding, walks in the park. When she needs to properly get dicked down or when she needs just the thrill or the excitement, you need to know when a woman is categorizing you as the type of guy to play your position and let her come to you, okay? Men assume women consistently want relationships. This is not always true. A lot of women just want sex, and you have to realize this because everything moves at her pace, okay? When she's with a guy, the first date, and when she's finally making him a priority to go and see him, that is at her pace. When the sex happens is at her pace. Okay, if she wants to see him more and potentially plan a future with that specific guy, that is at her pace. The second that the guy tries to control the pace or interject where he wants things to go is the second that this completely dissolves and now you failed to play your position. Not playing your position is what I've seen is the fastest reason why guys start to not only lose focus of how they have to act, but they stop reading the woman's intentions and they turn a blind eye to it because what they're doing is they're putting what they want first. You can never do this under any circumstances. So what you have to do is you have to be very, very, very observant. You have to observe the way the woman behaves. You have to observe her text messages. You have to observe her calling. You have to observe how she is when she's with you. When I say be very observant, here's what you have to really recognize and see, and see this for what it is. If a woman is never trying to build something with you, and what that means is she keeps coming over to see you, okay, but she's not trying to like build anything with you, follow up with you, see how your day is going, see how work is going, okay. She only wants dick at this point. This is where guys miscategorize themselves. They think that since she's coming over, she's consistently seeing him, she's even having sex with him, okay, 
Men misread this for the fact of them saying, hey, she must really like me. She must see this going somewhere. She must see a potential future with me. This is not true. A lot of times women just want dick and you have to be happy about that because the reason why you have to be happy about that is because you've, you've successfully categorized yourself as a guy who does not need to take her out on a lot of dates, hardly has to give any of his non-sexual time or non-sexual attention, doesn't have to call her, doesn't have to talk to her, and she's still ready and willing to come over to see you to get her fix, okay? So be very observant. Where most men misread this is they misread a woman's sexual intent and sexual desire for her actually liking him. They are not correlated. A lot of you guys are going to have to go through the trials and tribulations and multiple girlfriends and going on multiple dates with a lot of women to start to see this for what it is. A lot of what I'm telling you is gonna go in one ear and out the other. Until you've had enough circumstance where you have been on enough dates with enough women to see this, it's going to be very difficult to spot this. So you have to be able to get the reps in. You have to consistently go on dates. You have to see women. You have to actually get out in the field and date. Be very observant. If she isn't trying to build something with you, chances are she only wants cock. That's fine. If in the future she, she likes where your life is going, if in the future she wants more of your time, if in the future she wants to see this go somewhere with you, she will tell you, okay? As a man, not only can you never bring this up first, but the second that you do, you start to show incongruence. What is congruence, okay? Women like congruence. That means you look, you act, Okay, and you are what you say you are. You look how, like the, the look and the, the vibe that you give off is congruent with how you act, which is congruent with how your vocal tone is, which how is congruent with, you know, how you present yourself and how you carry yourself and the vibe of the interaction. And you are who you say you are. See, when a woman spots any sort of incongruencies, she starts to get very, very turned off. So I'll give you, I'll give you an example of this. A guy who has a reliable job, who doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't party, he doesn't sleep with a lot of women, okay? Maybe he, is a, he dates one girl at a time and he only takes that girl out on dates and he gets to know her. That guy will have a far better chance, okay, of, of, of things going positively with that woman, okay? Because he's displaying like what he is, the way he looks, the way he acts, and how he appears is congruent with the way that she has categorized him. So I told you this down below, women are consistently using their appearances and concealing their intentions to see if they can categorize you in a specific way and to see if you can actually miscategorize yourself to reveal not only your sexual market value, but so she can place you in a different area to show that she has reasons to disqualify you. And to simplify this down at an easy to understand level, okay, if a woman views you as a fun toy once a week, you can't try to be her boyfriend and vice versa. The second you do that, you miscategorize yourself and all of a sudden there's incongruence and now she doesn't want you for either. Okay, stick with me on this, this is, this is gonna make sense. A guy who has the textbook more or less long-term relationship like qualities, even some guys would say beta traits, you have the provisioning characteristics, that guy specifically will 100% go further with that specific girl, okay, than a guy who's, let's say, six foot six jacked, okay, but then is trying to consistently take her out on coffee dates and hold her hand in the park. That guy who's six foot six and jacked, the problem is there's an incongruence, okay? So the problem is at face value, she viewed that guy as, a, as probably a nine or a 10, and then when he has demonstrated incongruence within his personality, what will tend to happen is all of a sudden, now that attraction level will drop. So women like congruence. That means you are who you say that you are. So the reason why I'm telling you that it's extremely important to play your position properly is because if she's categorized you as the type of guy who she wants to sneak around with, if she's categorized you as the short-term guy who she wants to just consistently see once a week or every other week and get some dick, what's gonna happen is the second that this guy starts pushing for more or wants more, she's going to exit, okay? You have to be very aware and like you have to be very observant of what women say and what women do. You have to be very aware of how they text you, their frequencies of when they're texting you, the frequencies of when they're wanting to come out and see you. These things are very important. Now, at this point, you might be asking yourself, well, Casey, this makes sense to some degree, but why are they concealing their intentions in the first place? Why don't they just be straight up about what they want? Why don't they just be straight up about who they're after and why they're after that specific guy and why they want him? Well, I'm gonna explain. 
All women want something out of the interaction. They want something out of the deal. And truthfully, most women want the better end of the deal. They want the better end of the bargain. All women want something out of the deal or out of the relationships. And the reason being is because women are survival creatures. A woman, like when I say survival creatures, a woman is not placed on this earth to love you. A woman is here to survive because what a woman deep down cares about is who is the best fit to provide for her and her offspring. Whether she's with you for genetics, whether she's with you for a potential long-term pairing, whether she's with you because you have high status, which means you have a good social circle, which means it would be in her best interest to also be part of that social circle. So she's well liked socially. It doesn't matter what the reason is, but you have to be very aware of what categorization she has you in. So that way you can see why she wants you in the first place. All women want something out of the deal. Okay. All women are survival creatures. Therefore read this with me. Her categorization of you starts from the second that you guys meet the second that you meet, She's looking you up and down. She's looking at your structure. She's looking at your physique. She's looking at your vocal tone, your nuances, how masculine you are. The categorization of you starts from the second that you meet. So instantly she's going to either be screening for alpha traits or she's going to be screening for potential beta traits. Okay. Let me give you an example of why this is so important to learn. When she's screening for alpha traits, she's sitting there going, is this guy assertive? Is this guy an asshole? Does he act entitled to whatever he wants? Does he act entitled to the interaction? Does he act entitled even to a conversation with me? Does he act entitled to this going somewhere? She's going to view that as assertive. She's going to view that as potentially dominant. She's also going to, also going to say, Hey, is this guy good looking? Is this guy muscular? Does this guy have a good jawline? Does this guy have facial structures and facial features that are cues for alpha dominance? This is important to know. If you start checking the boxes on this, she's going to go, I'll fuck him. Okay. I will fuck him and I'll fuck him probably very quickly after just one or two dates. If he doesn't fuck up. See, that's the thing is a lot of guys, what happens is they will end up because they've, they've revealed their sexual market value by saying the wrong thing. Even this guy that she viewed as an alpha in the beginning, if you start to demonstrate incongruence by saying the wrong things, even this guy who's a 10 out of 10 on that first date can, can lower himself points to where all of a sudden by the end of the day, date, he might be a seven out of 10. It's important for you to understand this. Now she will sleep with this guy. She'll fuck this guy quickly if he doesn't mess up. However, here's what you have to know. And here's what most guys fail to understand. She does not necessarily want to be with him. See guys get confused. Okay. She doesn't necessarily want to be with this guy. She may want to fuck him. She may want to sleep with him very quickly. She may think he's hot, but in no way, shape or form does this mean that a woman wants to be with that guy. See, this is where guys get confused because when a woman is screening for potential beta or long-term traits, she's looking at things like, would this guy be loyal? Okay. What are the long-term traits? Like his financial status? Where is he going in his, in his career? How much money does he have? What is his status like? Okay. If a woman starts to see these potential boxes are more or less what you check. Okay. A woman will give the vibe and go, Hey, I would date him. This is the type of guy that a woman would probably want to date. This is the type of guy that a woman wants to build a future with. These are not correlated and these are not linked. And where guys get confused is guys will start to This is why we, we went to this column first. You have to know how to play your position. The reason why this is so important to learn and so important to understand is the second that this guy that she views as a long term fit, okay, starts to act, you know, more assertive, or this guy all of a sudden starts to act, you know, entitled, or he starts to act, you know, maybe certain ways in the bedroom that she wouldn't expect that he would. Okay, what's going to happen is this is going to turn her off because she senses incongruence. She's going to look at that guy who's doing that and say, you're trying to be fake masculine. You are being fake assertive. This is going to turn her off. This is going to make at, make her actually look at that man and think he is insecure. He's trying to put on a fake or a false bravado. I viewed him as an eight out of 10 or a nine out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, even for a long-term, you know, pairing or commitment. But now that he's acting like this, I don't view him the same anymore. There's incongruence. The same thing goes for when a guy like has assertive or alpha characteristics, maybe this guy is super soft and wanting to go on coffee date after coffee date and hold her hand in the park and write poetry and give flowers. This will turn her off too. 
this is incongruence, okay? A woman will want to be with a specific guy and a woman will want to sleep with a specific guy. You have to know this and internalize this and understand this so you know how to play your position. They are not correlated. I've even seen guys before where they'll say, hey Casey, I can consistently sleep with girls but they don't want to, like they're not wanting to build anything with me. And the reason being is because they've categorized you in a specifically alpha and or sexual manner or characteristics. This is all she looks at you for. You have to know how to play your position. This is one of the biggest reasons why relationships, dates, interactions that guys have go completely south. So when I, when I tell you this, okay, the biggest cold hard truth that you have to internalize is she may want to be with a guy, but this is independent of her sexual desire for him. Say that one more time. She may want to be with a guy like, yeah, I want to be with you. I want you as mine. I want you to be my boyfriend. I want you to be my husband one day. This is independent. Okay, of her sexual desire for him. This is polar opposite to how your male brain will work. This is polar opposite to how a man's logistical brain will work. If we have high sexual desire, high sexual attraction for a woman, as long as she does majority of the things right, as long as she's easy to get along with, we want best of both worlds with that girl. We, this is the, probably the woman that we'd want to sleep with and the woman that we want to see a future with, but she does not work that way. Women do not work that way, okay? A woman may want to be with a man in a relationship, but this is independent of her sexual desire. Her sexual attraction for him does not matter nearly as much. And this is why guys get confused because they don't know how to categorize themselves, okay? They don't know how to play their position, and then they don't know how to stack on real congruency to who they are, so they look, talk, walk, and act how they are and how they say they are, in the eyes of that woman to demonstrate real congruence. That's what she's looking for. That is how you pass these tests at a deep down level. So here's how women okay, gain the psychological upper hand and leverage on men. The reason why women are banking on the fact that men are naive is because men trust appearances. Okay, when I, when I tell you men trust appearances, men oftentimes Okay, a woman's sex appeal, a woman's beauty, things of that nature, men trust appearances and that woman's beauty, that woman's soft touch and that woman's sex appeal, okay, can soften his guard. Majority of men at some point in these interactions in the beginning have their guard up to some degree, they're screening that woman. But if she demonstrates the right things in front of them, if she seems like a cute cuddly teddy bear, okay, if she looks super sexy and her voice is soft and feminine and pleasing and she appears like she could do no harm, this man's guard typically drops, okay? Women know that men are naive. Women know that men actually will drop that guard quicker. And women do know at a deep level that they can use their sex appeal to alter her potential perspective in his brain so he adjusts how he acts. Never under any circumstances do you ever trust appearances. This goes for friends, this goes for family members, this goes for social groups, this goes for women that you date. You never judge a book by its cover, you never trust appearances. Women will finesse through looks and beauty to get what they want because they want something out of the deal, they want the better end of the bargain. Women will finesse through looks and beauty. Women will also finesse through vocal tone. An example of that is women know how to not give the blunt truth Women know how to covertly, this is why I say they covertly, okay, make their intentions unclear, okay? They do this discreetly. They use their vocal tone. They use their feminine instincts and their personality to not deliver truths. The reason why they do this is because they're trying to conceal their intent and conceal their intentions because they're banking on the fact that you as a man are naive. Most men are naive. A lot of men are very, very simple minded when it comes to the fact that yes means yes, no means no. We, masculine is routine, masculine is structure. This is not attractive or arousing in any way, shape or form. Men just wake up, perform and do. That women know that they are much more, that men are much simpler psychologically than they are. Reason being, they use this to their advantage. This is how women gain the psychological upper hand and leverage on men. She will try to get what she wants. For some women, that might be sex with a specific guy. That, that might be the status that's associated with her getting to be by him. That might be the long-term care and the provisioning that that guy could satisfy financially. But what you have to understand is women are doing whatever they have to do to get what she wants. And she has a game plan going into all of these dates and all of these interactions just like you do, okay? She'll use her sex to try to make a guy fall in love if she has to. Okay, what she'll do is she'll pull back. 
okay, to get an emotional reaction out of him. Women will oftentimes pull back to try to see if they can get a guy to chase just to see how invested he is if they don't know. Another thing that women will do, women will even throw a temper tantrum to see if that man is still alpha or if that man has, has went weak for her sex. They will throw a temper tantrum they will do things or they will say things to try to move you off center. And the second that you do it, it proves her right that you've gotten weak for her. These are all of the reasons why women will hide their intent and that why they will conceal their intentions from men. And truthfully, women have to do this because like I said, women are survival creatures. Well, if she views you as the man who's the big, bad, strong wolf, the only way that a woman can adapt is up here. The only way that a woman can adapt is psychologically, she has to know how to gain the emotional leverage. And this is why women are so great at not only finessing men, but this is also great why, this is also the reason why women will use psychological manipulation to gain the upper hand. If you can spot these things, you're gonna be miles ahead of 99% of other guys. I would say even if you watch this video and you stuck with this, and you understand it at a deep level, your game is going to be far above, like, <laughs> Most guys who are even like textbook good looking, textbook alphas, like you're going to seriously have a, an upper hand by understanding this because you can see how women behave. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.